time traveling tech currently exists? Black hole that was just found reawakening in the middle of our galaxy? No. Proof we may have come from Mars. Welcome to Soul Spa University, where your souls can run free and your minds are free to expand. Today, I will be covering the most fascinating news that they don't tell you. But first, please don't forget to like to support the truth I'm spreading to you. Share to share the actual truth and interesting stories the news doesn't share with you. And subscribe so you don't miss on the next exclusive stories if that we're still alive to tell so far, hopefully. Just a yeah. reminder, there is a donation link in the description box. We put a lot of work into this for you. And if anyone ever donated ever at all, it would mean the most to my heart, way more farther than you could ever know. Um, and it helps me to know that someone somewhere is listening. Also a reminder that as of right now, I am still alive for a variety of services that I happen to have gifts in, thus specialize in. If anyone could benefit from any of them, there is a list of them in the description box. I would love to hear from you guys. So email me if you want. Okay, jumping right in. We have three amazing topics today, okay? And then I'm gonna be covering them and then we're gonna comment on them. So time traveling tech currently exists, black hole that was recently found reawakening in the middle of the galaxy and proof may have come from Mars. Okay, let's dive right in. So um, Antarctica, this is crazy. So, hey, peanut butter slice, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Jelly slice? I'm all right. Actually, I'm about to reveal tech in Antarctica that is beyond our wildest dreams. Basically, there is a telescope, the most powerful telescope in Antarctica that can communicate instantly to over a light year away. A telescope that can communicate or can see? Communicate. Huh. Can really send some type of sound, yeah. Huh. Communicate. That's crazy. Didn't realize that existed. Also, I'm looking this up right now. You actually awakened me, uh, Peanut Butter Slice, to Antarctica from space. When you guys Google Antarctica from space, look at what happens. It's not even like, it looks Photoshopped. It looks Photoshopped. Like yeah. everything looks all mystical and like mystified and spacey. And then, you see Antarctica and it's literally just a white splotch. It's as if they're censoring something. Uh, like, man, me, listen. Like as how a, is that white from space? You know what I mean? Like elusive white maybe, but like just that one area, just white. And the reason why it's suspicious is because they've been super, super sketchy about Antarctica. Yeah. And now we're finding out that technology exists there. Well, imagine what we don't know. So this uh, telescope, uh, tell me about it. Yeah, no, it just said, let's see here. Um, so technically it is time traveling communication. I just, I don't understand that, what? Yeah, guys, um, just so you know, we've covered over a play, a huge playlist on time travel, documentary of a time travel, your mind will be blown. Um, so, yeah, I believe it's been existing, especially after documentary of a time traveler, which we also covered. Check that out. There was actual evidence in that documentary. Um, and I just knew, like, this is, this obviously the government, the G-Mint, um, has had things going on for quite some time now. We just happened to find out about this thing in an article. I was told many times that when you go to Antarctica, there's like, they don't let you go past a certain point. Um, and I've heard a lot of stories from military officials um, regarding the stuff that goes down there. Um, a, a lot to do with time travel, actually. Yeah, but is it time travel as we think? Or is it time travel like sciences where you go a certain distance in space and you're like, 
an hour behind or a minute ahead or whatever, whatever. No, no, it's straight up time travel. Remember we did a story on it? Like at one point this clock went backwards. It kept going backwards when it was in yeah, it. They say like the stars we see are already dead. We just see the light from that distance. And that's why it's time travel. That's yeah. why I was like, is it the same thing like that? I don't know, man. Science is crazy. I mean, all I know is that I'm a piece of bread and someone was like, let me put some peanut butter on it. Thank God that that person got hit by a car and I got away. Same thing with you. Um, What's up? Yeah, but you know, I think everything was meant to be in a way because we somehow found each other from across the globe. I mean, there you are in space and here I am on earth. And somehow, some way, we are on this podcast together. We have two more topics to get to um, that are just mind blowing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's still time travel. Communicating something a light year away in an instant, that's like light year away. That's a different time. Yeah, that's what I thought. Crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy. Science is nuts. The fact that we know about that, somehow that leak, like there's so much we don't know. Guys, you have to check out our coverage of documentary of time travel. There's literally evidence in there. The guy had a chip in his hand that was x-rayed. He ended up getting killed. It was absolutely horrific. When they found the body, it didn't have the hand with the chip anymore. Everything he well, said we don't know. was in the future no. is currently happening. Yeah. We don't yeah. know if he actually died, if it was his body. But yeah, he's dead. What other body has a chip in it, in the hand? Now it's starting to come out, those chips. How many bodies do you see with peanut butter on its chest or uh, jelly on their chest? Things you know, are all I, over. I'm not super into the videos you watch. Um, I just know that when I meet other snacks, I treat them like equals. I don't necessarily look up jelly on chest. That sounds like a specific um, niche or interest of yours. Okay, next topic. I, I watch a lot of Nutella on chest. Um, I totally get Nutella, <laughs> though. Like, I will do almost anything with Nutella. That's amazing. Black Hole recently discovered and reawakened. And reawakened? In the center of our galaxy. And no, it's not your in-laws. Totally just kidding. I'm sure some in-laws are such blessings. You know, black no I know I'm not referencing anyone I know except for maybe some friends experiences uh, but I encourage everyone to love everybody I'm just saying anyway so black hole in the middle of the galaxy found discovered and reawakening what do you think about that Tommy I didn't know they can be dormant I thought they just I don't even, but that's great. Like, how did he know that they was, it was even dormant? Or they just, like, if they just discovered it? Yeah. It's apparently also, what, now it's spouting off energy emissions. But I don't understand what exactly made it go dormant in the first place and what exactly is, has reawakened it. I don't know. We could look into that. Um, But basically, oh, you've disappeared. Maybe you went into a black hole. Same black hole you judged me for for that little joke. Maybe some Listen. people do feel that way about their in-laws. If so, this is not about them. Well, I know you're making fun of my flower that created me. So. Are you kidding? No way. I love your Listen. flowers. I Listen. love where you came from. Don't even, don't even. That's crazy. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh -uh. You're so hateful. Just I'm because, in love with your flowers. Just that because they're cornflower and you're like, it's just like. They might not accept me because I'm wheat flower, but I still like them. I think they're great. I love them. Anyway, oh. I don't know why you got personal over there, peanut butter getting all sticky. That had nothing to do with you. First of all, first of all, first of all, I'm not peanut butter. Okay. Some Stupid person put peanut butter on me. I'm a piece of bread. And now it will always be a part of you. It I'll is find a way. You indefinitely eat. No. 
I can't even hug anybody anymore. Otherwise, we will be fused together. It's hell. Uh, I think that would make a great sandwich. You're a monster. Speaking of monsters, Little Muffin is dressed in a pumpkin costume. Uh, laying down. If we were on live, I'd say, who wants to see? <laughs> anyway, but we don't know if they want to see, so I'm not going to show them. Um, anyway, back to this black hole. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, did it they say... also makes a sound, which some are yeah. saying sounds can't be um, traded in space or heard from space, but they're using different technology to decipher the sound. And it sounds partly music, but also partly chaotic. It's yeah, definitely course. not all good and it's not all bad, but I guess it's up to perception. No, it's all bad. It's things being destroyed and brought somewhere, well, we think brought somewhere else. It's all bad. Black holes are not fun. Interesting. So it's a portal to alternate reality, perhaps? Nobody knows because nobody wants to go ahead and figure that one out because literally it tears apart your molecules. Well, someone's got to put something in there and see what happens. It won't survive. Nothing can survive. So that's what the problem is. It's a theory that cannot be solved. Well, nobody knows because then nobody put anything in there. Because nothing will survive. It tears apart everything at the molecular level. There you go. I can't, my brain. I knew is you were never going to be able to say that. Listen, so I, I got this, some of this stupid freaking peanut butter in my mouth, and now I can't speak properly. This is some stupid humans like, hey, you're a piece of bread. I'm like, yeah. And then he just started putting stuff on me. I'm like, hey, buddy, listen. This usually costs money. And then he just got hit by a car. And I was like, oh, thank God. So I forgot yeah. what you're even at. Like, I don't even know. Listen, there's a black hole. It's reawakened. I can't help but wonder if CERN has something to do with this. I can't help but wonder. I don't know. Something's interesting here. If Donald Hoffman's work is correct, where everything's from us, projection-wise, it's reawakening. I think that's interesting. I think it's a way where our consciousness is, is expanding to fit it in, to allow it in, and now we could kind of delve into that. That's real interesting. A couple things. One, I really don't think it's CERN, because CERN does their stuff on Earth. So they're dealing, do you know what CERN is trying to do? It's trying to literally create portals to other worlds. You do know yeah, that. But here, right? here, here, here's, yeah, I know. But listen. So it doesn't matter if it's on Earth or on Mars. Yes, but this thing is not like next to our planet because we'd be destroyed. You do so, know that with what CERN is doing, time and space don't matter. It's actually messing mm -hmm. with that. Also, Donald Hoffman's work is he won the Nobel Prize this year for finding out that time and space is not fundamental. Yes, but I'm saying is this. Uh, one, this thing is out of our reach because, you know, it's like it's probably light, yeah, light years away. Our universe is huge. Secondly, I believe that it's the precursor to an alien invasion. Or maybe they're using, they learn how to use um, them just to simply transport themselves back and forth. And that's why it's reawakening because it's a portal for them. I like your original questions on, was it dormant before? Did we know about it prior? Um, how well, do I know it's reawakening? reawakening? Yeah, you said reawaken, so. How often is it reawakening? Yeah, no, I like your previous questions. I'm saying that. So uh, that's the also, the thing. these are just theories. Like, I honest to God, maybe you're right. Maybe it is CERN. Uh, maybe they I don't, something I'm not saying that. I'm right. I'm not saying that's right. I'm just inquiring. I know, I know. Uh, listen, as a peanut butter slice, I I can't I can't like you know I, I I my my level of thinking goes beyond. Hey, is today the day? Okay. Um, so, so what you mean is the opposite. That's fine. But you know, so it's interesting. First of all, let's not paint aliens in a bad light. What about this this invasion? They've been here in and out. You know that, guys. Check out our alien playlist. Um, but speaking of aliens, it does bring us to our next topic. So we can revisit this if you want. Are you ready to go okay. on to the next topic? Yes. Okay. 
So on Mars, there was an element named Xenon, I believe. Yeah. Xenon. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, they're back. There was some outside activity. Only Okay, so Xenon is known to only be released after a nuclear explosion. Yeah. So what's interesting is that's all over Mars. So now it gives birth to the theory that we were from there originally. And well, that, that, I'm sorry, it's cut you off. But remember that kid that said he was reawakened? Uh, he said that they had like nuclear wars. And that's yeah. What destroyed them. yeah, I was about to bring him up. Yeah, exactly. So guys, we covered a video on his name was Boriska. Um, something something of itch right um yeah. but it's it's in our it's in our it's in our videos he was fascinating he was a child genius he told us that he originated and came from mars along with um there was huge society there that we were all originally from there right um no they they were in the same thing as us but they they screwed with our dna they saw us like evolving here and they're like oh let's screw with their dna so us as intelligent beings are from there, but our original ancestors, the the primates or whatever you want to call them, are from here. So they just screwed with our DNA. Is that what he said? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. We match it up. But he's. I remember him saying there was a war on there, right? Yeah. And that's why everybody had to come here, right? Uh, not everybody. Most of them are dead. Uh, that was this whole thing, and that they they had a massive nuclear. Like that was their thing. And so it makes sense. So we were just like apes prior? Yeah. Like if you know, they just they were like, oh, look at these idiots. And then let's And what were them. they? What were they? They were they what they, they are now, what they were, aliens. Were they reptilians? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Um Okay. So <laughs> So yeah, guys, that guy was a child genius in Russia. We covered him. And um, if he if he just said that, nobody would pay much attention probably. But the thing is that he actually made a lot of claims about a lot of things people wondered about that um, were direct answers to what they were wondering. Then they researched it and it came out to be exactly true, which well, made me believe his mars stuff and now it's proving true as well go ahead tommy what well Keep partially I mean, sorry what just because just because, just because there's because nuclear explosions doesn't mean like what he's saying is true but they there were a bunch of other people that came out just like him they, what they called them the rainbow children or something like that i believe that's what they called them rainbow or indigo and there's a variety indigo. of them. yeah like yeah, yeah. i'm considered one as well so they all disappeared well, not all of them. Uh, I mean, uh, what's his name? Max Laughlin. What, what, what? Damn it. I'm all over the place today. Yeah, Sorry. Max Laughlin. Max Laughlin. Oh, peanut butter on his chest. I mean, what the hell do I know? Max um, Laughlin so... was a child genius also who was hugely intelligent, way beyond any physicist we knew. And he was the one that explained that the Mandela effect came from CERN. We also covered him in a video. Check it out, guys. Go ahead, Tommy. But that's not who I meant. I meant the Boris kid. Sorry, everybody. Boriska. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Unfortunately, he disappeared in Russia. Big surprise. Oh yeah, and we couldn't find him. We were trying to like seven months ago, um, and we can't find Max in it as an adult or Boriska. I could have swore I saw him as an adult though. I uh, did. The Boris Boriska kid like. They 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 said a whole thing where he's like, oh, he was in the village being protected with his mother. It's like, really, really Russia. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Um. He but, said yeah. things about the pyramids that proved to be true. He knew the exact coordinates of something there that they they researched and found out was true. Was it the pyramids or the 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 Giza, the one with uh, saying that there was like a a hollow space in the pyramid of geese. What? Well, yeah, no. Is it a pyramid? Whatever. Uh, there's like a hollow space with like the the secrets of the universe in it. I don't think they found that. <laughs> no, if they did, we wouldn't know. They found Tommy. Uh, 
peanut butter slice, a lot of things they found to be true that he said, that's why we covered him. Hmm. I really wish that like the government would just simply, or the Russian government would be like, you know what? Every, you know what? Not just Russian. I wish every government just, you know, just be cool. Let everybody know. At this point, why it, why let the conspiracies go rampant? Just let everybody know. We're gonna replace the word with G, G, G meant for now. I don't know if that's gonna work out, but we'll see. I am a piece of bread with peanut butter on it, and even I think that's silly. It's like <laughs> um, we our views are getting taken on the daily. We have to do something. You think that's because we say G mint? They're gonna be like, okay, we'll let this slide. Yeah, you have to alter words now. Yeah. God. I mean, we find a different word, but we have to explain it to the audience every time. Fine. G mint. Uh, they should get together and be like, you know what? Let's just let these things out. They already people are already like freaking out and already kind of like suspect. So. Let's just go ahead and let it go. Um. Yeah. The we'll call it the institutions that remain. Um. No, it's a huge thread of stuff. Oh wow. I disappear. A huge thread of stuff. You know, it's a deep, dark black hole. And um, I think I think um, actually, it's Dr. Stephen Greer that actually first mentioned this technology. And you know, he oh. tells at least mostly the truth. Yeah, I don't, man. We hope all, we know mostly. It's like, it, it, it'd be nice for once if things weren't hearsay or like, if they could just get their stuff together and explain truthfully. Like, the the telescope that does time travel like I don't that one it's like I gotta I gotta read in on that because that's crazy I I, I don't understand. Well, if um, you want, I could pause and look more into it. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> the reawakening of a black hole I didn't know that was possible. Uh, but I am not a scientist, so I like I said, piece of bread with peanut butter on it. Um. I do think that, that there might be something nefarious to that. I mean, black holes in general are nefarious. Not nefarious, but are a ridiculous, destructive force. And last one, yeah. That kid was right. Nuclear freaking... But what's their thought on it? Is there any thought on them finding this? Or they're just like, oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Everybody's now predicting that we were originally from Mars. Yeah, I mean, he did say they they screwed with our DNA, so not that we're originally from there, but at least our intelligence and our you know what we are today is. Otherwise, we'd still be apes, I guess. Well, I think a variety of things, but but either way, either way, I just want to say that my ancestors from Smuckers and Welch, um, as some of you can see I'm part jelly. And they had a story that passed down from generation to generation, a folklore you would think. But now I'm starting to wonder with this black hole story, if it's true. They spoke of times they were smushed into small, individual, little tiny packets as if they were in a matrix and into a little tube individually packaged. So like my great, great, great Welch's grandma could be in like 16 packages, tiny in a diner for other human grandmas to take home. As I know, because part of me, there's only a 2% part, but there's a 2% part of me that's human. And I know I am because when I go to diners, I also take the little packages, not realizing it was me I was taking of my ancestors. Anyway, the legend continues. 
that on the other side of my family, um, smuckers. This also happened with strawberry, not just grape like Welch's, but strawberry and pina colada and marmalade. Not so much with the marmalade. They were saved. Maybe they weren't pina so smart. Pina colada. <laughs> the freak. <laughs> okay. It was scary. This happened. They don't write about it in history books. They want to pretend it's an alternate reality that didn't exist. But apparently legend has not that after someone peels the top off, that they're scooped up out and then thrown in a black hole. Um, listen, I know you are from the South, but you're a piece of bread with some jelly on you. You gotta, you gotta understand that. You're bread first. You're bread first. I know I'm a piece of bread. And I also know that they put some freaking sticky ass peanut butter on me. Like, I don't, I don't know what schooling you got. Yeah. Okay. Part of me is American bread. Part of me is that. But there's other parts of me that They're I can't ignore anymore. They brainwashed you. That was never part of you. What was it? What was it a part of me? That nonsense on your chest. You are from the South. Uh, listen, lady. I know who I am. I am Wonder Bread. By the way, Wonder... we love the South. We love the South, everybody. In fact, right. we were thinking about moving there. Listen, New York. What do you mean you know who you are? There's a there's peanut butter smeared on you. You are part peanut butter. You can't deny it's your like ancestry. Freaking... Some stupid kid was like, I, I want to be my young I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Me. Now you're part of the got hit by a car. That's a horrible story. And like, hey, not for me. Not for me. I'm you free. don't know that, like, in the origins of our creations, okay, we were supposed to be together and then. Like twin flames, we got separated. I'm not saying no, I'm a twin flame, bro. I'm just saying originally we were meant to be together and then stuff happened. And that's fine. We're living great separate lives, even though we happened to room in the same little apartment for some reason, which is odd, which is odd. I will I will give it, it's odd. But what I am saying is that, you know, you need to accept your Skippy or Jiffy background. I don't know if it's Jiff or Jiffy anymore. I don't know what part of Mandela effect anyone's from anymore. Listen, lady, you have been brainwashed. This is just stuff they put on our to kill us. Uh, we are not supposed to be smushed together. What kind of horror show is that? Where we're jammed together, where we can't pull apart, and then we are shoved into someone's uh, face and devoured. That's horrifying. Okay, we should be free, free to roam the world as bread and die within a week. That's freedom. Instead, we're torn apart by everything in this world. Maybe that black hole is a blessing in disguise. So they all know what it's like. They all Don't know. Don't you get this is already freedom? What it is because... to be bread. Because we were meant to be together, but we chose separate to, to to flourish separately, like twin flames. I didn't choose this. It was chosen for me. Some level. You have been brainwashed. You have become the enemy. This is so and twin so, flame. This is so twin flame that one is awakened and the other is so human. And so ironically, yin and yang. Obviously, I'm the awakened one, but I'm in a human apartment and you're unawakened, yet you're in space. So yin yang, so twin flame. We're also, not twin flames, by the way. We're not. I'm saying our metaphors are. Because <laughs> trust me, if we were, are. it would be atrocious so far, is what I'm learning. From Listen, life. lady. I'm a retired twin flame. My kinks are banana and Nutella. So that's what we do. I am not a jelly person. Yeah. Metaphorically, when I met my twin flame over 20 years ago, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, um, 
wasn't my type either. I went for what life taught me to like, which was my type, you know, Italian at the time, you know, that kind of type. Italian and bread? And flame was not at all. So you'd be surprised. Besides, how would peanut butter and Nutella work out? <laughs> In a weird, amazing way. You know what's funny? I don't even eat peanut butter. I eat almond butter. I would love to eat Nutella if I ever found it. Isn't it outlawed in America? I don't know. But freaking even with jam or jelly, I will put almond butter and I'll use some preserves. Preserves, which are the fossilized versions of my ancestors. Bones okay. and all. So on the side of any the, what we were talking about originally. Mm. Uh, yes, I would definitely like to look into the uh, telescope that looks communicates through time. That is weird. Um, the black hole, I, I mean, I know we have black holes in our solar system. Uh, the reawakening of one is crazy because then they would have already known it was there. And then it's coming to life. Because black holes are usually created when a star explodes or something like that. I forgot, I forgot how, how it works. And then finally, I'm trying to remember. Oh, the Mars thing. Yeah. That makes all the sense in the world. Although I don't, I am surprised that they admitted to it. Or they actually, you know, they're actually debating it. Because... It kind of goes against a lot of religions and it's going to cause a bit of an issue. Oh, they're not blatantly saying it. They just somehow someone realized what was on Mars, reported it, it got out, and then we're coming, we're, we're connecting some dots. Hmm. As, as far I mean, as I know. Um, yeah. Also, in terms of the black hole, do you think that's, did they not discover black holes prior to this? Yeah, of course they did. Well, they okay. they can't really see the black hole. They could see like the warpness around it, or like the movement kind of ish around it. They can't see itself, it itself. They know that we do have black holes in our solar system, in our galaxy, whatever. Um. So I'm wondering if they just didn't notice it last time, because saying that it reawakened means that they were, they they they've seen that spot before and like how can they tell that it went dormant it doesn't it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense well you just said they've discovered it prior so they discovered this prior they well no i'm saying how does a black hole go dormant how does it reawaken like i don't understand that that that's kind of like it's kind of well, they they know i know they said it's now putting out um energy emissions and now has a sound very oh, yeah, sad. black holes all have sound. It's it's kind of weird. There, you can look it up, everybody. Um, they have um, they have recordings of different black holes. It's really weird sounding. Yeah, it's yeah. I personally think that it is a um, like a space portal for these aliens to come here and mess things up. Or save us. Hopefully save us. Just so you guys know, less than a minute. Oh, okay. So, you know, as a piece of bread, I don't care. Yeah. As a piece of bread with jelly on it, I do care. And that's the yin-yang. I like to expand my bread. Mine. Mine. All yeah. right. So, I think we got to wrap up, correct? Peanut butter slice? First of all, it's Wonder Bread slice with peanut butter on it. Mm, mm. And yes. We should all be more accepting of who we are. Um, continue to evolve. You know, if you fold in on yourself, you can become a half sandwich and it'll be beautiful. Just always look within, always go within. That's horrifying. That is horrifying. Why would I be a sandwich? All right, guys, check Why? out our other playlists.